So we come to the last verse in John 15 and also the last verse in this chapter in the Greater Reader of Biblical Greek. And the context has been that the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, would come and would witness about Jesus. And now Jesus is adding this final thought. Kai humes de marturete hati ap arches met emu este. And you all but... Okay, when this happens, there's your post positive. It gets translated at the beginning, and so the Kai becomes also. But you also are witnessing, present tense, since from the beginning with me. And then it's kind of an interesting use of the present, isn't it? Esta, you are. Every translation says you have been. But this shows the timelessness of the present tense, even in the indicative. They've always been with Jesus, hence the present tense. But in English, we have to say, because you have been with me from the beginning. So we'll start by moving the post positive, as always, and indenting it. But you also... It kind of reads more like an and, doesn't it? Not only does the Holy Spirit witness, but but you also, and you also are witnessing. Why were they able to be witnessing? Because they have been with him from the beginning, or the nuance of the word order, since from the beginning you have been with me. 